Well, another school year is quickly coming to a close here in Siouxland, giving students a chance to consider what's ahead. And they're not the only ones making future plans. Tim joins me now with an explanation. Tim? Teachers, after all, have some options of their own, that's for sure. And for this former Siouxland educator, a career of counseling others is coming full circle. A closer look at the mentoring mission of Dr. Alan Heisterkamp in this week's edition of Siouxland Stories. Al Heisterkamp always God. saw himself as an educator. Well, it's to say is where I cut my teeth, right, in my education career. But education can come in many forms. After more than 20 years behind a desk and in a Sioux City classroom, Heisterkamp was inspired to make a new investment in young people, joining the Waite Institute for Violence Prevention in 2007. I can't say enough about the Waite Institute and, and Cindy Waite in particular. We knew what best practice looked like. But again, there weren't a lot of examples of what that looked like over a period of four or five years. Partnering with the Sioux City Community School District, the foundation implemented a student mentoring program known today as MVP, Mentors in Violence Prevention. In seven, eight years, we began seeing this, the, the, the culture of the schools in Sioux City, particularly in the high schools, be, becoming less, less aggressive. It was a game changer. That first group at West High School, uh, most of them got it immediately. It's almost like, what took you so long? This is where I can get emotional because it's, it's, it, um, this, the, um, that, that school leaders would invite and that student leaders would, would take the invitation um, to be a part of something bigger than themselves, but, but know that as their role as a mentor, it, it allows them to kind of leave a legacy. And without that, it would have been very challenging, it would have been difficult to be here right now, today. With the mentoring program gaining traction, a new opportunity came to Heister Camp in 2011. The University of Northern Iowa turning to him to help create the Center for Violence Prevention. Over the last decade, more than 39,000 secondary school students have engaged in the MVP strategies. And 40 Iowa high schools now partner with the UNI Center, implementing bullying and gender violence prevention programming. You know, all of those behaviors that we know youngsters need to be successful in the next level, the next step after high school, um, they're, they're getting that through this process, either directly as a mentor or indirectly as a, as a ninth grade student because of that relationship. And, you can't buy that. Heister Camp says he knew the program was working after witnessing a mentoring session between a black football player and an openly gay classmate. How fortunate for those freshman boys and those students in general to see these two older peers who are very different from one another um, facilitate a conversation around what it means to what it means to be respectful and to be in a school where we, we're, we're not okay with racist or sexist language. And I thought, how cool is that? And I thought, this is it. This is, this is it. This is important stuff. So what was the best part about Last being in fall, the you and I received a $2 million gift creating an endowment to sustain the Center for Violence Protection for years to come. And then during those homeroom times, those students in all grades Heister Camp himself, recently back in Sioux City, working with educators, keeping violence prevention at the top of mind. And now, as the center continues to make schools safer, Heister Camp is about to turn the clock back more than 20 years. He's set to resign his position at UNI on June 24th for what could be his last assignment as a counselor at the American School of Bombay in the heart of Mumbai, India. Once again, guiding high school students. This time, though, from the United States, the UK, Japan, Australia, and India. The work of the center here will, will be with me the rest of my life. And being able to you know, go from coaching and teaching to being a school counselor, to being a school administrator, to help support the students, um, to have lasting impact and get them thinking differently about personal responsibility has been just... Uh, you know, it's just been an unbelievable experience. I'm looking forward to being in that learner role and even uh, become maybe uh, more of a connoisseur of Indian food. <laughs>